Hey guys, somebody sent me this request where there's a game, you roll two dice and you pick a card at random. And the question is asking, what is the probability that the card matches the sum of the dice? And an ace would be equal to one, a jack would be 11, a queen would be 12, and a king would be 13. So what is the probability that you would win this game? If you want to try this on your own, pause it right now, because I'm going to solve it in three, two, one. So I'm thinking this is pretty straightforward. You don't even care about the distribution of the rolls. No matter what you roll, four cards out of the 52 are going to match whatever was rolled. So I think the probability is four out of 52 or one out of 13. But we can check it by using this definition of probability that it's the total successful events over the total possible events. So first for the total possible events, we're going to be selecting a card and rolling dice. When selecting a card, there are 52 possibilities, and when rolling dice, there are 36 possibilities. Here's the table showing all 36 possibilities. So that means the total number of events is going to be 52 times 36, which is equal to 1,872. So that is the total possible events in this game. We can change this to 1,872. Next, we can look at the successful events. This is where the card and the dice match. So here are all the cards, ace through king, and we're supposed to make ace equal to one, jack equal to 11, queen equal to 12, and king equal to 13. Next, let's look at how many of each of those cards are in a deck. There's gonna be four of every single card. So the count for each of these is four. Next, let's find how many dice rolls will give us a sum that matches the card. And we can use these notes for the sum of two dice. So looking at this sum of two dice chart, how many rolls will give us a sum that matches the one card? And that's none of them. So we're going to put zero here. And then we want to know how many possible rolls match a card of two. There's only one possibility for that. That's when both dice are equal to one, also known as snake eyes. So we can put a one right here. How many rolls will have a sum that matches the three card? Well, there's two of those. So we'll put a two right here. And then we'll do the same thing here. There are three rolls that would match the four card. So we'll put a three there. Four rolls match the five card. Five rolls match the six card. Six rolls would have a seven to match the seven card. Five for the eight, four for the nine, three for the 10, two for the 11, and one for the 12. And then for the 13, there's no possible roll that'll give us a 13, so we put a zero there. Now we're interested in collecting all the successful events. So we multiply the total possible cards times the total possible dice rolls that'll match. So there's zero events for the ace card. Four events would match a two card, and actually, I can show them right here. Here's the four events that would match the two card. You have two of spades with the snake eyes, two of clubs with the snake eyes, two of diamonds with the snake eyes, or two of hearts with the snake eyes. So these are the four successful events for the two card. And then for the three card, we'd multiply four times two to give us eight. I can show you those two. These are the eight possible successful scenarios for the three card. You have the spades, hearts, diamonds, and clubs for when the yellow is one and the red is two. Or you have spades, hearts, diamonds, and clubs when the yellow is two and the red is one. So that's why there's eight successful events for three. And then we can keep going down the table. Four times three is 12. Four times four is 16, 20, and so on. Now, if we sum all of these events, we'll have the total successful events. And these will all add up to 144. So we have 144 successful events. Let's put that into our probability. In the place of the successful events, let's plug in 144. So the probability is equal to 144 over 1872, and that'll simplify into one over 13. So the logic I explained at the beginning appears to be right, it was 1 13th. This is the answer to our question, let's put a box around it. How exciting. Here's a problem I'm planning on working on for the next video. If you guys wanna try it out, feel free to comment your answers, and I'll post a solution once I solve it.